Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology. Today's presentation is going to be about installing Ubuntu 20.04 server on a Proxmox server in a VM. The first step that you are going to need to do is download a copy of Ubuntu 20.04 server ISO. To get a copy of Ubuntu server, we will go to ubuntu.com and click download. Now that we have clicked download, the next step is going to be to select get Ubuntu server. Now to download a copy of the ISO, we're going to click option two. The last step to download Ubuntu server is going to be click download server 20.04 LTS. Now that the ISO is downloaded, it is time to upload the ISO to the Proxmox server. We will do this by selecting the drive we would like to upload to. In this case, the default Proxmox install drive is going to be called local. Now that local is selected, we will select ISO images and select upload. After clicking upload, a new window will appear. In that window, we will click select file and choose the file for the Ubuntu 20.04 ISO that we would like to upload. The last step will be to click upload and allow the ISO to upload to the local storage drive in our Proxmox server. The next step will be to make a VM. To set up a VM, we will follow the steps in this short video. Make sure your name is all one word. If not, it will not work. Your system settings may vary from mine depending on your hardware requirements. Now that the VM is made, we are going to need to start the VM. To do this, we will select the VM on the left hand side of the screen. Then we are going to click Start and Console. This will open a new window that will act as a screen for the VM. The first step with the console open is going to be to select your language. You can move up and down with the arrow keys and press enter when the language that you would like to use has been highlighted. Now we will select the keyboard layout. If you are using the default keyboard layout, press enter. We are going to use the default Ethernet configuration and IP address configuration given to our machine by our DHCP server. So press enter with done highlighted. We are not using a proxy address, so we're just going to press enter to move on and use default settings. The default mirror address for Ubuntu is going to be fine for us, so press enter. Now it's time to set up our hard drive. We are going to use default configurations 
with no LVM encryption. So we are going to tab through this screen until done is selected and press enter. Now at this screen, we're going to use default settings as well. So press enter with done selected. To write these settings to our hard drive, press tab so continue is highlighted and press enter. Now it's time for you to fill out this screen with your information. Use the tab key to move through each field, filling them out one by one. When you have finished filling out the fields, done should be selected, press enter to continue. We are not going to use SSH for our server because console will be good enough for us. If you would like to use SSH, press the spacebar to select SSH, then press the tab button to select done and press enter. If you're following the same steps as us in this tutorial and are not using SSH, just press tab to select done and press enter. We are not using packages for this video. If you would like to use packages, follow the same steps of moving up and down with the arrow keys, pressing spacebar to select the packages. Press tab to highlight done and press enter. If you're following along with us and not using these packages, press tab to select done and press enter. Now Ubuntu will install. This will take some time, so go get a coffee and take a break. Now that Ubuntu has been installed, you will see this screen. Just simply press enter to move on from this screen. Ubuntu will reboot and you will be asked to log in. Once you log in with your credentials, you'll see a screen similar to what you see in front of you. Make sure you use sudo in front of this command. This is not like working in an LXC in Proxmox. Sudo will be required to use super user commands. To update the Ubuntu install, you're going to use sudo apt update and and sudo at apt upgrade dash y to do a full system update and upgrade of all repositories and packages pre-installed in Ubuntu 20.4. Now your Ubuntu install has been installed and it is ready to be used for your next project. Thank you for watching. As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Every subscription helps virtualize everything get closer to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Meeting our goal of 1,000 subscribers means YouTube will begin monetizing our videos. The monetization means that Virtualize Everything will be able to afford more equipment to bring you better informative projects and improve the quality of your videos. As always, have a good night.